Swans launched a publicity offensive in May to promote it soon to open Edwards Dessert Kitchen in the upscale north loop of Minneapolis, once the Frayed Edge Warehouse district of town. Edwards Sweets Oriented Eatery, the first retail outlet for Schwann's, got mouth-watering coverage for its bright shop in the renovated Lowry Morrison Building, on Washington Avenue and 2nd Avenue N. Unapologetic indulgence is what we are about here. Stacy Fowler, a Schwann senior vice president, told the Star Tribune on Monday, the Marshall Rooted Company, whose executives are based in Bloomington, is known for frozen pizzas and yellow-green delivery trucks. However, Schwann's is tight-lipped on the size of its North Loop investment, or whether it's for sale. Late last year, Schwann's reportedly hired investment banker Piper Joffrey to explore a sale or other options. Wall Street has speculated that a deal for the privately held company could be worth up to $2.5 billion. The getting has been great for sellers in the red-hot mergers and acquisitions market since 2012. Founded in 1953 as a home meal delivery business, Schwann's is one of the nation's largest private companies, with about $3 billion in annual sales, it has roughly $260 million in before-tax operating profit, according to CNBC. Schwann's has faced increased competition from online meal kit and grocery delivery startups. It also had to adjust to consumer preferences for fresh foods and away from Schwann's stable of frozen entrees. While Schwann's gold trucks still deliver meals to up to 1.35 million customers, the company has entered other businesses that might attract a suitor or parcel off disparate businesses to several buyers. It owns Red Baron, Freshetta and Tony's Pizza brands as well as Mrs. Smith's Pies and Edwards Desserts, a Schwann spokeswoman, who declined to comment on sales speculation, said the company of 12,000 workers has sales of about $3 billion, in addition to corporate offices in in Marshall and Bloomington, Schwann's operates for home delivery in the Twin Cities area. A look at what's behind today's Minnesota business headlines. More from inside track lawmakers granted the street. Hall Hospital an exception to the state's moratorium that clears the way for 55 new hospital beds. Schwann's is touting its new downtown sweet shop, but mum about its future as an independent company. Corrugated box maker LDI names Matt Homan as president and CEO 3M Forms new sustainability and product stewardship organization. For first time, Fortune 500 names Minnesota-based Polaris Industries.